In addition to that, most of the mixed designs for asphalt in the United States changed uh, some time after 1985. So we still have some of the old mixes out there and they weren't designed to resist the truck traffic that we're seeing today. Uh, mixes that are put down have been put down in the, in the uh, say the middle 90s to the present uh, don't you know don't rot nearly as much but uh, but the stiffer you make it then the quicker they'll crack so it's a, it's a trade-off yes you mentioned I dot many times you never mentioned Ashto or federal highway administration what are they different IDOT is actually the uh, supervising agency for us. Federal Highway, their responsibility is to make sure that uh, IDOT is doing what IDOT says that they're going to do. An example of that is that when you travel from state to state, you may see different road signs and different traffic signs. Federal Highway does not tell the state exactly what they have to do. They just tell the state, whatever you've decided you want to do, you're going to do it that way because you're spending federal funds. So uh, so we don't have much direct uh, you know, dealing with Federal Highway. And then AASHTO is the, is the uh, uh, agency where specifications are written that really is above Federal Highway or any state agency. So the ASHTO would put the specifications, that Federal Highway would uh, uh, ask IDOT to do, and then, yes. yeah, and and then and we follow. Them. Right, and then we follow. But as, as an example, you, you can imagine that, uh, that the traffic patterns in a state like Montana would be much different than the traffic patterns in a state like New York. So it's the local uh, highway department that has to say we're going to do it this way, but then Federal Highway says, well, we're just going to make sure you do it that way if, if that's what you say. And we're going to uh, do a recycled mix. In other words, we're going to take some old asphalt and we're going to put that in some new asphalt. We've got to know exactly what that uh, asphalt content is in that old asphalt. Uh, the test that I showed you earlier is a quick test, but it's not quite as accurate as this one. But this one takes 24 hours to 36 hours to do, and that other test in there takes, you know, uh, a couple of hours. And so, uh, so when we bring in uh, 10 or 15,000 tons of asphalt that has been milled off of a highway, we take samples of it in a prescribed method, and then we'll run it through this uh, uh, this device uh, in order to uh, determine exactly what the liquid asphalt content is. Because when you have a sample of recycled asphalt, particularly depending on the price of liquid asphalt, and as the price of a barrel of oil goes up, the price of asphalt goes up. And therefore, uh, uh, we can make determinations on how much we want to put in a mix depending on what we consider the value to be. What would be the difference in percentage and accuracy? This is more accurate. So the same sample. Oh, I, uh, I, 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 can't, I can't really answer that. Uh, this, this 10 to 20 percent? Probably 10 percent. 10 percent of yes. And the expense of the machine to get, I mean, the equipment, is more expensive to get this one? I'm uh, trying to, to find the equation yeah, between yeah. how much are we gaining from uh, uh, fast tests. I, 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 think the, I think the real issue is that with a fast test, it shows you whether you're in the ballpark. Okay. It gives you the direction. Exactly. You, 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 don't want to, uh, you don't want to go out and run asphalt for three days and not know what's in, that. What's in there. Okay. This will give you the sense of direction. That's exactly right. Thank you.